Hello YouTube, today I'm at the beach, but first of all, I have to blow up the world. Well, that took longer than expected. This dot in the Irish Sea, this is the Isle of Man. This is where I'm starting. Then I get the ferry to England, then I walk across England through Manchester and Birmingham and London to Dover, and then get a ferry to Calais. From Calais, I walk to Brussels, and then across Germany, going through Frankfurt, and then into Austria through Linz, Linz and Graz, which are not marked on this map. And then we go through Slovenia and Croatia, Bosnia, as you can see there. Um, and then I think, I'm not sure, probably through Montenegro, North Macedonia, um, Albania, North Macedonia, Bulgaria, and to Turkey. You might think, why do you not go through Greece? This Greece, it's a lovely bit here. The problem is that the distance from here to here, I have, I've only got 90 days to do that because of Schengen rules and because, the, because Britain's no longer part of the EU anymore. So I want, I'll probably have used up my allowance so I won't therefore be able to enter Greece. So I've got to go from Bulgaria into Turkey that way. Um, and Istanbul, which on this map, Istanbul's not really on this map, even though it's one of the largest cities in the world. I think it'll probably take me about six or seven months to get to Istanbul, not sure, but then it'll take about three months to walk right across Turkey, and I've only got three months to do that as well, so... And then I've got a problem. I've got a problem because of this thing here. There's three ways to tackle the Caspian Sea. One way is to go down through Iran, but you can't do that if you're British because you have to have a tour guide the whole time and that, it'll take me several months and, that, and I can't have a 24 hour tour guide walking with me, that's ridiculous. Another way is to get a ferry from Baku across to Uzbekistan. The problem with that is I once went to another place that's not on this map, um, Nagorno-Karabakh, which is a breakaway part of Azerbaijan. So anyone who's been there is not allowed to go to Azerbaijan and you can be put in prison if you lie and they find out. So it's not really worth it. So the other way, the way I was going to go, was to go through Georgia and up into Chechnya and then around that way through Russia. But you see, because of recent events, that's not going to work either, is it? I don't think. I can't see... I can't, I can't see this conflict in Ukraine being sorted by by the time I get there, or, or, or at least having settled down, so I, I can't see there being any visas granted to to English people. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, there isn't really any other option. So I, I may have to fly over a little bit of that and miss that out just because there's no way around it. So anyway, let's assume that I've, I've got around the Caspian Sea and I'm now somewhere in the stands and I've got to get from, the, from this region and ideally to Delhi in the capital of India. You see that? Um, that in itself is going to cause some challenges because you have to walk through Afghanistan, which should be fun, or through Kashmir, which is also, also has its problems. But we'll see what happens. Something I'm looking forward to is walking from Delhi, across India, across India, through Bangladesh, and then into, and again it's, oh yeah it is marked on this map, to, into Burma. From Burma, into China, and then to Shanghai, or a port, whichever, there's a port somewhere up here, where you get a ferry to South Korea, be nice to walk across South Korea, and then from there to Japan. Let me turn the globe a little bit. So from Korea to Japan and to walk pretty much the length of Japan, seeing Tokyo and other big cities there. 
And then, because there's no, because you sort of run out of land then, um, and not wanting to walk back the same way in the wrong direction really, I'd probably fly from Japan all the way back to some point of my walk around about Burma or maybe or maybe Bangladesh and then we're going to do a wiggly walk around this region and try to include Laos and Thailand and Vietnam and uh, Cambodia and then we can start walking down here down here down here down here down here and into Malaysia and Indonesia island hopping as we go perhaps into Papua New Guinea and then that's Asia pretty much finished and then to do this section of Australia down probably as far as Sydney from Australia from Sydney we go to New Zealand and walk the length of New Zealand and then before we continue I need to do a twirl of gratitude. Everybody for the twirl of gratitude? Here it goes. So I want to thank you for watching this video and for subscribing to this channel. You have done, haven't you? Go on, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I want to thank everyone who's joined the Facebook page, Crim's Earth Trek. Everyone who's following me on Instagram and Twitter. Keep twirling, go a bit faster now. I want to thank three people who support me already on Patreon. Martin Thurlow, Hanny Weir and Stuart Martell. Thank you very much. This twirl of gratitude has been for you. Now I feel slightly sick. All the way across the Pacific Ocean. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn it, turn it. Look at it. Look at the animation effects on the, with this. You can see the, the money spent on this channel. And then we come to South America. Or we come to North America. I'm not sure. This is a bit I'm not sure about. Either I arrive up here and walk all the way down here and 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 down here. Or perhaps the other route would be to maybe to go to Rio and then do a loop around and then up and then up and then up here and then this bit is interesting this the Darien Gap the bit of the road the, the, the road that connects North America and South America doesn't it doesn't actually exist in this part of the world so it's just I think dense jungle so that's the be a solution to that and then Central America and then a place I'm really looking forward to seeing is Mexico and then probably from Houston to New York City he said in a terrible attempt at an American accent and then from there I have to add up how many miles I've done if I've done say 23,000 I will probably fly to Spain possibly Morocco and then walk up over here and then back to and then finish but if I've still got a few more thousand miles to go then I'll land somewhere further around here and do that so hopefully six or seven years from the day I set off I'll be back on this little beach. <laughs>